Right, it's the season of the cow. I've just seen some. Look. The nice weather as the farmers are letting them out. But I don't know if the grass is long enough. Right, I'm over here at... Um, I can't remember the name of the farm now. I'll just zoom in and it'll tell me its name. I was behind that farm a minute ago in the wood. Exploring for the first time ever. But I did remember that about the Irish wolfhounds. Keeper's Cottage that is. But they're not at the gate, so I reckon they've been taken out. Um, not taken out forever, just gone somewhere. Because so I think they would have picked my scent up with me walking behind in the wood there. I remember that for another time, so not to venture um, much in that area. I don't know if they're let loose in the wood, you see. But anyway, here I am. Um, up at uh, the bridle path. Takes me past the keeper's cottage and that lovely farm there. Lovely wood there, lovely old wood, Hutton Wood. I've explored a little bit more of it. Only took off, for, you know, sort of half an hour just to have a little wander. It's worth it. And there might be another way of walking through and coming up further up. I've never bothered to do that. But, you know, knowing if they've got three great big dogs, it's just a bit of a a warning, Sheila. You, you know, you, I don't know whether the dogs can get out in that wood. So, uh, anyway, like I said on the other video, I came up here about a week or so ago when I did the Crook's Peak walk. And I came back through here. But I was in a rush um, to get my lift back to Weston <clears throat> and so it wasn't my normal leisurely walk. Now I've just heard the ravens, the echo, they've got a special, they don't call, they echo. A bit like, um, they've got them in Warbury Woods, it's almost like an echo, an e it is an echo when they make this noise, you might pick it up in a minute. But I've seen them and, oh, they're a massive wingspan. And they're here somewhere anyway. But it's a nice, calm day today. There's no wind. I've just put ordinary old trainers on today. Rather than the big bulky ones. Because so I do see this as more of a middle-sized walk, really. It is when you know you're not walking to Crook's Peak and back or further. And surprisingly, there's not a lot of people out. Now, this is the last weekend before the kids go back to school on Monday full time. Or it might be great. I don't know if some schools are doing it like that. But, um, yeah. Here's Hutton Wood again. So I don't know whether you can, I can creep around the back. Because I reckon I must have been about down there. Over that way, down there a bit. And then I walked past the house. Because I was surprised to have seen it so early. So I think I'd walk further along there than I realised. Let me see where a little animal gets through there, look. But this is full of bluebells and I think it's garlic as well. In the summer, this will be bluebells. So it'll be worth going in again over the other way. Just to get pictures of the bluebells. I'm hoping to get over to Longwood. I've missed Longwood for the last two years um, for the bluebell season. But I don't mind if I miss it again because I've done an awful lot over that way. And there might be little pockets of place, places I can explore more local to prepare me for when the times come where I can't do my extended walks. You know, I mean, I've already lost a vehicle. I know a way to get on the Quantox. I will use that facility again. Train and bus, I will. As soon as it's time is right, I will. Um, I do hope to get somewhere with my tent this year. But it does depend on... the situation, really. Um, you know, on the lockdowns and the Covid spreading and whether the campsites are open. Um, if I had a camper van, there'd be no problem because they see you as self-catering with your own facilities. They will still provide a chemical to toilet, though. Um, 
we just have to wait and see really I mean I'm on very very limited budget so I have to sort of make the best of what I can I've had some really good times in my camper vans um, and it's not to say I won't have a vehicle again I'm often thinking of just having a, a vehicle for say six six months to a year um, to use just so I can go camping basically just a small small vehicle just to get me up on Exmoor which I want to explore more and the coastal paths um, I know I can't I know I'm not capable at my age now of carrying a huge load um, I probably could carry a, a smaller load for just a couple of days you know a couple of days walking maybe I mean I didn't even have a lot well it was I had to have clothes to change into you have to have food to carry and you have to have water when you're going on these eight hour walks <coughs> So, I seen young people struggling doing that, and I thought, wow, I, I did bed and breakfast last year, and I did day hikes. That was one occasion I had to carry quite a bit of stuff when I had my final stretch. But, um, yeah, I, am, I, have, I'm, I have got plans, I have got hopes, and there are still, like I said, areas I can explore around this way but I reckon it might be private I'm not sure I mean it's very well fenced off they're not sort of in really inviting you in are they because look at that that's brand new that bit of green but I'm um, hope hopefully we don't want people wrecking everywhere see that's the thing, that's what's happened in Wester, has happened to a certain extent. But I think all those feet have probably helped Western Woods. You know, it's a bit of, um, you know, pushing the seeds in and the leaves. You know, it's a, it's a bit of like um, farming. You've got lots of people tramping around. Hello again. You had a bad cough the other day when I came by. You were struggling to get up. Do you feel better today? Hey, do you feel better? Yeah, when I came by a week ago, he was coughing and he was kept on lying down. He does look a bit sad. There's another one there. Well, at the moment, this is peaceful like it normally is. I often find um, this is just the, the border of Hutton. This isn't. That's Hutton Wood, that big bit in there. And I've managed to do a bit of it. I've managed to do a bit of it. A little hole in there, look. Yeah. There's a gate there. It's not to say you can't get in there. But I think you've got to be careful with dogs. I do think you, that is the only risk, to be quite honest. But there is quite a bit of wood. Locals live here all the time. I oh, know. Hello, little flower. You welcome in the meteorological spring, are you? Bye bye, horsey. Don't be too sad. Oh, he looks sad. He needs a cuddle. I'm not sure the. There's no cows in there by the look of it, but when cows are in that field, you know, they can get in here. I haven't seen that for years. Lots of lichen on the trees, must be a healthy spot. Yes, there's all that wood there. I've written the lo local people will know. They would know how to get in there, because there's a gate there. It could be that you can emerge from that wood over there, which I might find out one day, and come through this gate. Doesn't say you can't go in, does it? Do you know what I mean? There's probably a way round over there. Could be. 
Right then, so I'm in Hutton Wood. I'm going to go through the wood, cut across the field there, get over a gate, get through a bush, and then go up a little bit of an incline. Although I had thought about going, actually I had thought about going across and, yes, I might do that and getting over a gate there instead. What I'll do, I'll have a little walk around the wood and then I'm going to get, I'm going to go over there and get across that gate because that's something I said I would do and I haven't done it yet, rather than have to walk up that steep hill over there. I'll just do a little bit of walking around here, rather than go all the way down. I'll go sort of middle bit over there and then backtrack and head for the trees over there and hope there's no cows. Right then, over and out for a minute then. I'll video a bit more in a minute. All right, I'm in the middle of a field. There's Hutton Wood down there, which I've just climbed out of. There are some cows in a field over there. A gap in the fence, which in theory they could get through. Um, from up here on the hill you can see Flat Home Island. I'll just zoom into it. Look, see? It's Flat Home. With its um, Holy Trinity lighthouse on the top. Wells behind in the background and the Bristol Channel. This is about the third or fourth video now, today. <sighs> and there's the wood. That will all change colour with the seasons. Right over there we've got Banwell Wood. I think that's Banwell Wood. I don't know if it, there. I can't see the tower. Yes, I can just see the tower. There it is. I need to get to that another time before the summer, before rapid growth. So that's Barnwell. And beyond that would be the hill fort, which you can't see that well at the moment. And beyond that there would be Roborough Hill Fort as well. And of course Western Hill Fort is over there behind the trees. So I'm gonna I've I've wanted to do this for a bit, actually climb over this gate. And uh, I just haven't got round to it. But I thought today, yeah, rather than go back down round through there or then climb up that hill there, I'll come up into the field. And um, one that could be they'll let cows back in there again. I think they've had sheep in there. Or badgers, something's been in there because of all this cow pack stuff. Yeah, I don't want to be told off by the farmer, but I'll say, well, I got someone said I could take some really good pictures from your field. And you can. Then what I'll do, I'll walk down the, what I call the Roman road, go into the bridle path that I used last week, but in the opposite direction. That was very muddy. And then I'm going to head for um, a copse right over there taking me to a beautiful walk down towards the um, apple tree orchards. Um, I am expecting it to be very muddy but it might not be, we don't know. It's, things can dry out quite quickly actually. And I've just got to climb over this gate now. See? I've just got to climb over this gate. This is where everyone has a wee look. Look. Right, I was just going to put the camera there while I climb over. Zoom into the cows again. First lot of cows with the steep home island, not steep home, flat home in the background. Yeah. 
I'm going to take a picture of that scene there. Over in it for now.